What is up, you beautiful carbon life forms? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add embedded captions and subtitles to your videos for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and IGTV, the baked in kind, so they're always on. Hey, my name is Trevor, Hollywood editor turned full time realtor and YouTuber. If you want to learn how to sell more stuff like houses using video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thwack the bell. This stuff works, man. My brand new student Brandon posted this video and two days later he had a client filling out a loan application. Most video nowadays is watched with the sound completely off, especially on mobile. Because of that, I caption all of my videos with a service called Rev and I've got a whole video about how to do that right there. Now, the service they provide is for closed captioning. It's super automated and super simple and closed captioning means that the video can be turned off or on by the user depending on where they're watching it. Like on platforms such as Facebook and YouTube, you can turn the captions off and on. That's called closed captioning. But sometimes you want the captioning on all the time. That's when you want to bake in the captions with embedded captions. Those are called open captions. I'm going to show you how to add open or embedded captions to your videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. There is a free way which is a little bit more work. I'll show you that first. And then there's a much easier way which is very inexpensive. I'm going to show you that as well. Let's dive in right now. Once you open Premiere Pro and bring in the footage you wish to caption, you simply drag that footage. I would go with the finished project. It makes it easier, the finished file. Just drag it down here and it will create a timeline with all the settings matching and giving it the same name. Next, all you have to do is click on this little icon here and choose captions. And you've got some options here. These two are for closed captions. The CEA 708 is the more recent version. And the bottom is for open, open caption. Now remember, as I said earlier, closed captions allow the viewer to turn the captions off and on depending on the platform. It's supported on platforms like Facebook and YouTube. We're not doing that. We want open captions that are embedded, that are baked in forever. So we click OK. It creates settings that match my sequence. I click OK. And up here in the project window, we have open captions. All we do is drag this down to the timeline and we want it to last for the duration of our cut. So we simply click on it and drag it to the end and now we'll be able to caption the whole thing. How do we do that? Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. Now by default, you can see that it has created a caption. Type caption text here and by here, they don't mean here, they mean click on it. And if you double click on it, it'll open up the captions window right here. And if it doesn't open where you want it, you can move it around. So go ahead and click on this again, the little captions text that's down here. And we have this glorious window that lets us change a whole bunch of stuff, such as typing in the actual captions. Let's listen and just type in a couple so we see how it works. Oh, good morning. It's 5.38 uh, on a Sunday morning and it's 5.38 on a Sunday morning. So I want that to end here. This is how long the caption lasts. So I just simply click and drag it to there and then I click on this again, I go up here in the captions pane and I choose the text, highlight it and I type in, oh, good morning. Now I see that, hey, look it, it added my caption right as I say it. Oh, good morning. It's 5.38 uh, on a Sunday morning and... But what if I don't like how this looks? What do I do? Well, I click here and I can change a bunch of stuff. I can center it. I can make it bold, all that junk. The real stuff that matters is the font and how big it is and stuff. So let's go ahead and change the background. Let's say we don't like a black background. We just want text. So you click on this icon here. That's the background icon. And now we can change the color of it or remove it completely. So I can change it to a different color like that. Or I could just turn the opacity down to nothing and it goes away. And now I've got text here with no background. I can also make the text bigger by clicking here and choosing a size that's bigger, maybe 55 points. That looks a little better, right? And it's still not that readable, so I could actually add an outline. If it goes away, you just click on this thing again. And you click on this outline button, and I can choose an edge and make the edge, I don't know, maybe five pixels. And now it has an edge, but the edge is white. I don't like that. Click on this edge icon again. And I'm going to, once you, whatever you click on, that is the color you're about to change. I click on this and let's make it a black outline. So we've got white text with a black outline. Looks pretty good. 
I could change the font, maybe something more readable. Let's say Din. Din's kind of a nice readable font. Din alternate. And yeah, that's okay. Maybe I want it bigger. Let's make the size bigger. Let's make it 60. And then, yeah, that's not bad. Bigger still, let's go 65. All right, and you just do that for the whole cut. This is why this is the painful way. So let's hit play and see what I say next. We'll do one more so you can see how it's done. It's Sunday morning and I'm never awake at this hour anymore. I'm never awake at this hour anymore. I'm never awake. So all I do is I hit the plus sign down here in the bottom left of this pane and I've got a new box to type in more text. So, and, and I'm never awake at this hour anymore. Boom. And we need it to go the entire duration of me speaking. It's Sunday morning and I'm never awake at this hour anymore. And so I just drag it over. And that's it. I was literally, I do that for the whole video. Oh, good morning. It's and I, I do that for the whole video and I'm done. Notice that the settings that I use to create this caption here, the first one, were translated over here. So I still have white text with a black outline and no background. Uh, 38 on a Sunday morning and I'm never awake at this hour anymore. That's it. And then all you have to do now is export it and you're done if that's how you want to do it after you do this entire 13 or 12 minute video. This is the free and somewhat painful way to create baked in captions. And by the way, when we're done with this, I'll show you how to make it so it looks better for Facebook and YouTube and Instagram, but we're just gonna get the basics down right now. If you wanna take your video game to the next level, like my student Brandon, who is crushing it with video right now, you gotta check out my free masterclass at videosecretswebinar.com. It's an awesome class. It'll give you a foundation for making videos that are amazing and actually will help you sell your product, especially if it's houses. Check it out right now. Dude, it's free. So let's see the other one. I'm gonna delete this because that's not fun to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into rev.com where I've paid a dollar a minute to have the captions created for that video. So I will just click this icon here on the right and choose download and it gives me different formats to download. I want just a subrip, a standard SRT file. I hit download, 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 and it quickly downloads the file. Now I just wanna import that file into my project. And I'm gonna delete this open captions once because I don't care about that one. And I'm gonna double click to import and go to my desktop and I see the SRT file right here. I'm gonna hit import. And now all I do is I drag this pre Captioned captions. I could read this entire SRT file onto my timeline. Look at this. It's already done. Look at that. The whole thing is done. I can just export it and be done. That's it. So using rev.com, you can just import the SRT into your project, drop it on top of the timeline, and be done, unless you want to change something. Now let's show you how to change something so it looks a little bit cooler. What if we want that big white border on the bottom for our YouTube video? We want this to be maybe a little bit bigger. Well, let's do the little bit bigger part first. I'm going to click on the captions file here in the timeline, and I'm going to go into my effect controls, and I'm just gonna scale it, make it a little bit bigger, because I want the, the text to be a little bit bigger, right? I'm gonna scale it, and then I'm gonna use this other slider to raise it up a little bit. And boom, now we have bigger, more readable text. And I can scroll through here and see what it looks like when I have two lines and if I have a long line. Just kind of check it out and see if it works for me. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty good, right? Now I want that cool white background so it stands out a little bit more. How do I do that? I go here into the project window. I click on this icon here and choose color matte. And I just click OK. I'm going to choose a white one. I, I just drag this all to the bottom left so that it's white. I click OK and I'll call it white. Notice that the white file appeared here in the project window. I'm gonna click and drag it down on top of all the other tracks, and then I'm just gonna spread it out so it takes up the whole timeline. And it's covering everything, oh no! There's a couple ways to fix this. The really easy way is just take this position slider here and slide everything down. Click on the 540 and go to the right, and then boom, it's down. Now, oh no, I can't see my titles, what do I do? I can click on it and just drag it on top and I want titles on top and that stuff on the bottom and boom, looks pretty good, right? We can tweak a little bit if we want. Let's say we want this to be a little bit lower on the screen and not waste so much space. So we can simply click on the caption file and drag it down a little lower 
And then we can take this white and drag it down a little bit lower with that same slider and boom. Now we've got titles, captions that look pretty great, right? Now you might be able to see, I'm not sure if you can see with the resolution of YouTube that there's a, an outline around the captions. That's temporary while I'm scrolling through it. When I export it, that'll be gone. So this is how you do captions. A moment, no planning, no preparation. And you know, it looks pretty great, right? Now what if you wanted to use this for Facebook in a square format or Instagram TV in a vertical tall format or your Instagram feed, which is a slightly squattier format, a four by five format. How do you do that? How do you change? It's called the aspect ratio. I've got a question for you. Are you currently captioning your videos? Go ahead and post that in the comments below. All we do is we duplicate our cut. We'll call this one the YouTube cut. So let's go up here and name this YouTube, YouTube. Now let's go ahead and make a version for, let's say, IGTV. So I'm gonna duplicate that with option D and I call it IGTV and double click it so it opens up here on the timeline. I'm gonna close this one so we're not confused. Now what we do is click on all the tracks, raise them up one track by hitting the option and up arrow. I'm gonna take this white and I'm gonna drop it below everything. And now I'm gonna change the aspect ratio of this video so it matches IGTV. IGTV likes a vertical, long, stretchy format. The way you do that is you click on Sequence, Sequence Settings. You change the frame size to 1080 by 1920. And now everything is vertical, except it doesn't look right yet. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the video is fitting correctly in this frame. So we click on the video track and we go into the effect controls here and we scale it down until it fits exactly in that space. Boom, looks perfect. Now this white is all in the wrong place as well. So we need to click on that and raise it up and up and up. And we need to scale it so it fills everything. And look at that, we scaled it up a bunch and now everything's beautiful except that the titles are still not quite in the right place. So we simply click on the titles and we go back on the effects tab and we adjust the position down right there and boom, look at that. It looks kind of perfect, right? You can scroll through and make sure everything looks right. Oh, look at that, too long. So this is why you scroll through so you can make sure that some of these lines actually fit. What do you do? The easiest way to fix that is to scale this entire thing so it's a little bit smaller. So we're gonna scale the captions a little bit smaller so they fit and then we're gonna look again and see if we have any other issues. Now it's a little bit too high, so we're gonna lower them a little bit with that icon, with that icon, with that little number right there, it's the second position number here. And now let's check. Just scroll through the whole thing, make sure they all fit, look perfect all the way through. And looks great, right? So we can export that now for IGTV. Here's the beautiful thing. IGTV is vertical, it's, six, it's nine by 16. Instagram is four by five. It's four wide by five high, so it's a little bit squattier, but when you import this thing into Instagram, it is going to automatically cut the top and bottom off. So it'll be done already. So you only need to make one that's for Instagram or IGTV. And the beautiful thing is you can upload this to IGTV directly. And then there's a button you can check that'll allow you to send a preview to your Instagram feed. And the preview will be proportioned correctly with the top and bottom cut off a little bit, just a little bit squattier. And it'll be one minute long and give them an option to watch the video on IGTV. If you want a tutorial on that, let me know. Next, we're gonna create a version for Facebook. A lot of times you see these videos in there on Facebook that are square, so what do we do? You already know how to do it. You just go into Sequence, Settings at the top, and you change the frame size to 1080 by 1080. Click OK, and now everything is square, and it could be done. Let's look, we already know that it fits left to right because we didn't change that size, and this should be perfect as well. So look at this, scroll through, that's all you have to do, and you can export it. Now we could have duplicated it over here and made a separate one so we can export them all together, but this works fine. Now all I have to do is export this. So all you do is you hit File, Export, where'd you go, Media, and there's only one other box you need to make sure is, is correct. The default here, H.264, high bit rate, IGTV1. This is actually the Facebook version, so we can change it here to, Facebook, and you hit save, choose where you want it to go. It's going to the desktop, I think. Let's look. 
desktop there it goes hit save the other thing you want to check is captions down here you have these options you want to make sure that captions are set to burn into video if you turn them off look what happens <gasps> they go away you don't want that this is burn these captions into the video and then you just hit export and boom we're done and then you'll have a video and you can do you know export all three of these that would have been here if I would have duplicated that and boom you'll have three versions that quickly with captions for YouTube Facebook Instagram TV and Instagram boom it is that simple remember to check out my free webinar at videosecretswebinar.com if you got anything out of this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe you haven't subscribed yet dude subscribe right now i cannot wait to see the caption stories you have to share